has been one of the great PR coups of the century that the drug companies have been able to convince Americans that they suffer from biochemical imbalances that need correcting by drugs. chemical imbalance where you have decreased amounts of dopamine and norepinephrine in the front lobe. There still hasn't been any data produced by anybody, any researcher out there, to reinforce that there is something biologically causing these types of symptoms. 13 out of 16 items and it's conclusive for ADHD. I like that I had ADD better because there's a way to fix it. When I started taking 40 milligrams, that was when things started getting weird. We have kids who have a cocktail of medication. We had one instance, an eight-year-old, that was taking seven different medications. Uh, candy for a new millennium is just, this is, it's not what it was supposed to be. It's not medication anymore. Redlin was a, uh, was a starter kit, w was planting the seed for later on for the meth. We discovered that our hyperactive children were, as adults, we're using drugs, I mean, tobacco and cocaine, about twice as frequently as the controls. There's no question about these drugs causing addiction. I mean, there's literally no scientific question at all about it. It became excruciatingly painful to go to work each day and to sit across from one more patient and live a lie. I said, well, are you going to get me a bulletproof vest? This is not going to be a popular paper. It caused a lot of rumbles in the ADHD community. We're just sitting there waiting for news that our baby's okay, and we didn't get that. If I made a mistake and she does not have ADD and she's taking the medication... And he says, everyone has the power for greatness. I remember the nurse kneeling in front of me and saying, you know, that Shana had died. We waited three long months for the coroner's report to come back. Dysipramine toxicity, main cause of death. We are giving very powerful endocrine disruptors and in some cases true neurotoxins to children when their nervous systems are at their most vulnerable point of development. It's like mass marketing. It's pop culture in the pharmaceutical way. We are ruining a generation of children by making them think that their future lies in a pill rather than in mastering the universe, mastering their lives. She has gone from a C student to an A student. Her confidence has soared. You know, if it's a mistake, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't imagine. <laughs>